<laughs> we love boost, we love turbos, and when they work, they're absolutely amazing. But when they don't, they can fail pretty spectacularly. We brought in some real mechanics to watch clips of insane turbo failures and break down exactly what went wrong. Welcome to real mechanic stuff. Sandra, you're a real mechanic, right? We try. Hell yeah, me too. First clip. Ah, yes. Whoa. Wow. The classic Z move. Rev your engine as loud as possible at the car meet and show off for the They're boys. They're like the Harley people, but <laughs> in the car world. <laughs> that turbo's overheating, blowing so much air out. Like, it's not even like funny at all. Our turbocharger has two sides. We are going to have a turbine side and we're going to have a compressor side. So what's great about turbos is they don't take power to make power. They're using already used exhausts that were putting out the tailpipe anyways that are coming through this chamber here and they are going to spin our turbine. So as our compressor spins are spinning, uh, we are going to get a low pressure area, which is gonna draw air in, and then we are gonna shove it back out this side into the intake to shove into our cylinders on the intake stroke. And then your car goes whoop. And your car goes whoop. out. <laughs> They're, they're asking a lot of those turbos. They're getting nice and toasty. Probably a little too much of showing off. Next clip! This next clip involves a 1400 horsepower Corvette that got a little too hot on the dyno. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice looking Corvette. That's a really nice bit. No! Oh, oh, bumper oh, exhaust. Oh, Ooh. no! Dude. Oh, the wall's on fire, <laughs> yeah. dude. Oh my God, that's the intake manifold. Just exploded. Just gave out. Did they have the plastic intake still yeah, on it? Yeah, yeah, Oh my God, yeah. that was dumb. Wow. <laughs> so whenever you add a lot of power, uh, especially a lot of boost to an engine, things down the line start to show their weaknesses because none of these parts came from Chevrolet. Uh, built to hold 1,400 yeah, that, horsepower. It looks more like a tuning failure to me. We've got too much fuel, so much that we're not able to burn it in our combustion chamber inside the engine, so it's coming back out the exhaust. Oh, well, it looks like it came out the intake. <laughs> it can also come back out the intake as well if we've got enough. And it uh, looks like we burned our plastic intake there and uh, shot some, some flames out of the exhaust as well. The way you react to it, like, let's just say you drop 10 Gs into it. Yeah. And you're over here, like, with the boys, everybody's chilling, mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, let's, let's see how much power you get. Yeah. You're seeing that spike up, 400 horsepower, mm -hmm. 450, 500, then you see your f***ing rods coming out. <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? Most people don't come in and say, make my car safe. Uh, horsepower. They're like, make the most horsepower that you can possibly make. And so you're riding that razor's edge of making the horsepower without doing damage. And uh, so that's not easy. A turbo and a diesel go together like peanut butter and jelly. Why? Force induction in diesel engines allow the engine to increase peak power and torque while the turbocharger increases overall engine efficiency. Seems like a win-win, right? Well, guess what? It is! except when you go too hard <laughs> and it explodes. Run that clip. Uh, rolling coal. Black smoke. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, wow, that no longer black smoke. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. Whoa, dude. Oh, my. whoa. Oh. That's cool. Oh, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Is that the turbine? That's awesome. That's worth it right there. Yep. Obviously, anytime we see black smoke, it's going to be too much fuel. Usually with turbos, if we see a lot of black smoke, um, we are, even in diesels, we could be looking at like an underboost leading into an overboost situation. Too much power. Couldn't take it. It could have been a, a cheap turbo. Uh, yeah, like this one. It's hard to know exactly what caused this problem, you know, if the turbo was already having issues before and they didn't know it, um, or if they were just simply asking too much of the turbo by by uh, boosting too much. That's what I'm... Got Inception in here. So... Ah, you just got that, right? <laughs> 
If you're gonna run a turbocharged vehicle on a dyno, it's always best to reinforce everything else, as we'll see in this next clip. Let's roll it. We got an F-250 on a portable dyno. Oh, oh. Oh, we oh. went from black smoke to white smoke. That's never good. Mm. Black smoke, white smoke. Mm. That's it. That's not what you wanna see. Laters. Bye bye. Not good. Not good. Especially when it's abrupt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Following a loud bang. <laughs> yeah. That loud bang to me sounds like our head gasket might have taken a dump. The seals give out inside, so everything's mixing up. That's where you're getting everything out that exhaust. There's nothing else separating it. That puff of white smoke was coolant getting into our combustion chamber. A lot of it. So in the description of this video, the owner was like mad at himself for running it on a dyno without getting it studded. What does studded mean? Yeah. New head bolt studs. He didn't change out anything. Just went straight to the stock stuff and just went fucking ham and I'm gonna put all kinds of big ass turbos. So if you don't upgrade your head studs, you'll blow the top of your motor right off. Your fucking head will be sitting next to you. Yeah. These don't just come in trucks, pal. They also come in cars. Check out these cars. <laughs> Why do you let it keep going? You do have, you can slap that sucker in park. Oh, no one's in it. Oh, no one is in it. Oh. Just ghost riding the whip. <laughs> I have no idea. She probably got stuck right there, but I don't see nobody in there. Yeah, there's nobody in the car. Nobody's in the car. I'm, I'm guessing. Somebody just like, oh, <laughs> I'm out. He, he must have just left it idle and then this happened, is my only guess. <laughs> what the heck? Ghost car. Ooh, what was he talking a little about? spooky. This feels like a stuck throttle. Or a ghost. I'm going for the ghost. Yeah, me too. I vote ghost. The previous owner's life <laughs> Take my car back. Dude, but that's the thing. It's a Volvo, so nobody died in it. Safety. Yeah, safety. <laughs> so far, we've seen turbos explode out of the vehicle that it's in, but this time, we're gonna get up close and see exactly what it looks like when it fails. Here's one powered by burning wood. Wood powered turbo? What? Okay, I'm gonna let you explain this one. I think- I, I, I don't know if I'm qualified for that. <laughs> the air it's sucking in, is dumping into the smoker tank and pushing all the smoke back into the exhaust, I and then see, it's just a constant loop. I see. Loop. Ooh, it's a shot out. <laughs> Straight out. Yeah. So the turbine spun so fast that it like overwhelmed the bearing. Shot it out. Like <laughs> uh, it looks like they built it to fail almost because they had their cameras ready and uh, they were waiting for this Rest maybe to peace. happen. Oh yeah, RIP. <laughs> But turbos are only rated for a certain RPM range, and when they do exceed that, then then uh, you're you're asking too much of the bearing, and then we usually get some sort of bearing failure, and then our turbine. The boys tell you, hey, bring on the grill. <laughs> Put the turbo on that. Let's do this shit fast. <laughs> Man, that's wild. The impeller is the most important part of your turbocharger. It's a tiny fan that spins in a stream of engine exhaust, which in turn spins another fan that squeezes more air into your engine. Modern impellers can spin between 80,000 to 200,000 RPMs. That's rotations per minute, pal. That's 13 times faster than a jet engine. At those speeds, the centripetal force on the blades can cause them to spin themselves apart. So quality is extremely important when buying a turbo. Here's what happens when you cheap out. Just because you can get a turbo off of Amazon doesn't mean you should buy the turbo off of Amazon. That accent though. Ooh. Oh no. Look at that lost little impeller. <laughs> Ooh. It looks like the, the turbine to impeller shaft just broke. Either it doesn't cool down enough, it gets over hot, like cooling system's not right, not enough oil, whatever it is, they just snap in half. One side goes the other way, the other one stays inside. So if you buy that at Walmart or a 99 cent store, <laughs> yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. Cheap turbos. You wanna go with name brand turbos that are common in industry. Um, usually off-brand turbos are uh, copying other turbo design. So the, di the, the design is good, but the, the quality of the parts and the manufacturing processes are not the same. And so you end up with stuff uh, or problems like broken shafts, like what we just saw. All right, I'm gonna give a preemptive, get your minds out of the gutter. Sandra, what is shaft play? 
Do I have to ask this? I said get your minds okay, out of the gutter. Okay, all okay. Over. okay, okay. <laughs> so inside, usually when you get Chaplet, whether it be new or used, uh, that means your bearings are giving out. So you got to either return it or don't play with the shaft. You know, right? you know? Dude, do not play with don't shaft play. With the you want it to be completely straight mm -hmm. and not have any back and forth shaft play. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to, to hear that. That's why this turbo is no longer on a vehicle. No shaft play. No shaft play. In this next clip, let's see what signs to look for uh, that your turbo may be headed to Boomtown. Whining. So we've got the Wuhan warrior out. Wuhan warrior. <laughs> the Wuhan warrior. <laughs> there is a little bit of wiggly play. Wiggity play. Wiggity play. Yeah, that's exactly what we were just showing. Shaft play. Mm -hmm. Little wiggly play, as you yeah. put it. So it's giving you play again uh, inside. Mm -hmm. So it's making noise, like flapping around. That's what you hear, like a screaming. It's, it's, it's just noise. It's straight noise. It's guiding you, like, change me now, mm -hmm. or I'll blow right now. I like the way you turbo. No wiggity. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next clip. If a turbo fails, it can cause catastrophic failure across your entire engine in a matter of milliseconds. Let's see the aftermath of another turbo explosion. Oh, oh. Nesquik. Chalky milk. Or when coolant or water uh, gets in your engine, it makes white smoke. And on the front end, Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. That's what you got right there. If uh, we are creating too much of a restriction on our intake side, it can actually suck oil through that oil feed from the bearing, which is going to allow oil in through that intake or compressor side, but the oil shouldn't look like that. I'm taking a turbo apart. What's inside the, what? Inside, inside the, the turbo. Ball. So this is where it sucks up air. You see it's all machined up. Mm -hmm. Usually if, if this bad boy blows up, it'll scratch all this or the inside. And then that's when it's shot. Now, inside here is where your oil lines go. Right there and there. Mm -hmm. So if they break the seals, it'll mix the oil and it starts shooting out through your turbo. All and that. your intake. Yeah, all your chocolate milk and Nestle Quick or whatever drinks you want to do. We do get some of this under normal operation, which is why you'll see a lot of people with catch cans. Mm. So catch cans will act as a reservoir for any oil that did end up in, in the intake to have a happy place to go to rather than into the engine. What do you think the turbo sounded like being drowned like that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, most of our clips so far have involved turbos dying of natural causes. Don't make the mistake that this guy did. <laughs> uh, Is that the intercooler? It's in the intercooler. <laughs> oh, no. So, what, did he suck it into the turbo or did yeah, he leave it sucked in like it, a sucked it into a turbo. Seems to me like rags are the number one thing because they're so light and fluffy that uh, they very easily sucked into those. Because he probably left it in the pipe, uh -huh. and then just went in like, whoop, let's go. Realistically, I'd also be very worried about what was still inside the turbo. Um, I would, if it was me, I'd probably do a teardown of the turbo, make sure everything was clean and, and clear of, of any debris. There was once a guy built a Civic, mm -hmm and he had it open. You can leave these bad boys open mm -hmm. so they could suck up anything. Yeah, but then if it, yeah, like a rocket's in there. No, know. a rat. Ugh. Blood everywhere. All right, so we got one last clip to show you guys. Before we do that, Sandro, who are you and where can people find out more about you? My name is Sandro. You can find us on Instagram or at the shop. Bring us what you got. I am Angelina Alcantara. I teach automotive at Riverside City College. You can find me at Instagram at Miss A the Shop Teacher and uh, YouTube at Miss A the Shop Teacher. All right, if foreign objects getting unintentionally sucked into a turbo like a rat was bad enough, what happens when you intentionally throw something into them? I mean, I think I know, but let's watch the clip. Ah! ah French fries? French fries? So it's throwing french fries, fries in it, yeah. Where's the ketchup? <laughs> oh, is that a burrito? It's a burrito. A whole burrito? Oh my God. It's a burrito. <laughs> a little asada burrito too. 
Oh no! It smells like carne asada. I see it's some fluids. It's the smoke and fluid going on. Uh, uh. Mm. Well, that was entertaining. That's definitely not good for the engine. Any foreign objects inside the engine uh, could create problems, even potatoes. Hey, hey, all right? Just because it's ethnic food doesn't make it foreign, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Feed your car fuel, not burritos. Because cars, just like dogs, they may want people food, but don't give it to them because it's bad for them. If you want to see more real mechanics like Angelina here react to all the horrible things people are doing in their cars on the internet, please hit that like button, subscribe, and tell us what you want to see in the comments below. It's literally the only way we can keep making videos for you. You guys are amazing. Have a great day. Go do something smart to your car.